YouTube welcome back to the bison workshop I'm Bob and we got snow today and it's still coming down nothing but ice as you can see ice flakes the crystals and we ain't blowed my carpet over here Anyway, we're going to go out here to the shop here and see if we can't uh, be productive today. I had to take my old lady to the to her job, and it was bad then. And uh, by 8 o'clock tonight, it's probably going to be worse. So y'all wish me some luck. So we're going to go in here, set the coffee there, so I can unlock the uh, door. And hope it's warm in here, because last time I come in here, my air compressor had throwed the breaker and it was cold. Yep, that's not the case today, so cool. One last look. Whew, look at all that weather. Bad weather. All right, let's get some light on the subject here. And we're going to try to get into some projects today. So, um, it'll take me 20 minutes to turn all the lights on. Anyway, until then, until I find something to do, uh, we'll talk at you later. All right, well, we finally found something to do. And uh, finally decided to tackle this mess over in this corner. And um, basically what I've done is I rerouted the electrical box down here. And because it was back here, this used to go to the hot water heater when the camper had a hot water heater. And um, I just rerouted it and um, put it here. Um, so the next thing we had to do was we had to square that wall and make it a straight up and down wall. Uh, originally, the reason that this wall was crooked to begin with was because the back side of the camper is at a slant instead of straight up and down. It's at a slant, so naturally the wall is going to be slanted. So what I had to do was cut some boards here that is a full two before here and then narrow down to take care of the slant. And I made three of these to go in there. So we're going to make us a wall in there. So basically re the wall and making the wall straight again instead of at a slant. So now uh, what we've got to do is we're gonna have to do a bunch of toenailing because I can't put the wall together and then get it in there. Um, it ain't gonna go in there. I don't have any place uh, to kind of work it in there. And I got this carpet on here and I'm not taking the carpet off so um, Basically, we're just going to have to do a bunch of toenailing or with uh, some three-inch screws. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started on that, and um, we'll be back. All right, now we've got the wall built. It's nice and straight. Or the uh, framing. Now we get to cover it with plywood. And um, <coughs> probably going to have to put it in in two pieces. And if I have to put it in in two pieces, I will show you um, my way of splicing two of them together. So, we'll uh, get to that. 
Alright, now that we've got this piece in, uh, this was pretty simple. I knew I was going to have to put it in two pieces. Um, basically what I've done, I've taken a cut piece from the top here to go in. And that will cover the top part. But, because of this part right here, with nothing there to hold it in, in between these, I want to tie them two, these two pieces together and make it as if it's one. So, what I've done is I've taken and cut some pieces, and I'm going to screw that to this part right here. And then that way, I have something to screw that to. And when I put the holes in for... Uh, making this uh, work right. I want to strengthen it by staggering the screws. So I got one high, one low, one high. And that way it'll strengthen it a little bit. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. This is a hard place to reach into, I know that. matter if it's straight nobody's going to see it it's still going to serve the same purpose it's like my bits getting wore out in fact i know it is i can see it is all right now we can put this piece up and throw the screws to it scrap wood that come off of when uh, they redone our roof that they finally got to. And I gotta change that bit. Things getting wore out. Now that them two are tied together, now we can go ahead and put the screws around or in the center. And the edge. we have a solid wall. So now we got to put our rails up. And because it was in the refrigerator and it mounted to the side of the wall, let me back you guys up a little bit here. Look at all this junk in here. Alright, this one's going to be pretty simple. That one's just going to mount right against the wall here. And we're going to go We could just split the difference. Something like that right there. We'll just go to the top of this first board right here. And then we'll screw that in. enough wall here to hold it.
this here was really thin. Well, actually, there is something back here. It must have hit something. Uh, because of the way these mount, I'm going to have to build me a little a little wall right here, or a, maybe a small piece of board to go along the side of it. And I figured that wouldn't be long enough. I'll find some boards and we'll be right back. Well, I think I got a little carried away here. <laughs> um, I wanted to show something, but I just, I got carried away and started getting on this. I got into my work. Um, I had to put a little uh, two by four here on the side so that that would mount on there because when it was in the refrigerator, it mounted to the side of the walls instead of the back. So I was able to do it on this side, screw it to this wall, but over here on this, I didn't have a wall because it wasn't, this shelves ain't wide enough. So this here, I can just kind of put my clamps and stuff like that against the wall back here in the corner. And I decided to move my drawer that I had over top of the heater um, over here because I notice every time I go to saw something where I have to saw, I, I get sawdust all in it. So I decided to move this drawer over here and this was where the drawer went anyway. So that works out pretty good. I can see down in it and uh, I ain't got to search or wonder what's in the drawer. I can just look and there it is. And uh, what I didn't have a two before any left over after I'd done the wall. So what I did where I took that slant off of the two before so I could straighten the wall, I just turned them back to back opposite each other and screwed them back together and made a two before. <laughs> it's actually a two by or one and a half by two. So it worked out pretty good. I was able to repurpose that. I didn't get all the way to the ceiling, but it's a shop. Um, so now I can put things on my shelves here and uh, be up off of the counter here. Now I got my counter space back, or I will have it back. And then I've got some drawers to put underneath this part, uh, some big old long drawers. And that's gonna be a job in itself because the floor is not straight. And trust me, it's a pain in the butt. So, um, that's all for this shelf system, and uh, this is just another way that you can use shelves that came out of a side-by-side uh, -side freezer refrigerator, and uh, I think that's uh, pretty much all that's left over out of that refrigerator that I can use. The only thing left in that refrigerator that I took out was the, um, the little drawers that slid in the door, or little cubbies that snapped into the drawer, or the uh, doors, and the aluminum uh, condenser that was in the back of the freezer. I'm going to find a purpose for it. And then I've got one more little drawer that I just noticed, I forgot. That will probably be put where this drawer came out of. So, um, you guys have a good one. And thank you for watching. Oh, and by the way, uh, I wanted to take a moment also to thank everybody that subscribed to my channel. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm trying to make videos a little bit better and kind of show some of the stuff that I've done in the shop. Who knows, maybe somebody will learn a way of doing something that helps them do things in a better way. And um, help them out too. Yeah, I don't know if anybody got anything out of this, but uh, there it is, nonetheless. And you guys have a good one. Later.